Welcome to my look back over my highlights of 2022, starting with a visit to RAF Scampton to photograph the Red Arrows practicing against a brilliant icy clear blue sky. And one of the last chances to get round to the country lane on the far side of the airfield to get some unique angles before the Reds relocate to their new home at RAF Waddington. I managed to photograph them a few times in January and February and the conditions for this visit and vlog were perfect. I tried to improve my woodland photography over the past couple of years and a visit to Holm Fen in February with these amazing foggy conditions gave me the chance to add a few shots to my catalogue which I'm really happy with. Shooting woodland in fog makes the world of difference and I thoroughly enjoyed making the most of these conditions. A trip to RAF Mildon Hall in April was a must and these morning departures of a C-17 and a KC-135 were a warm up for the main event. A special fly past of a B-1 Lancer two F-15s and an F-35 to mark the 80th anniversary of the mighty 8th Air Force. Of course, my year wouldn't be complete without a trip to my nearest airbase, RAF Lakenheath, to photograph the resident F-15s and the new F-35As which joined the 495th Fighter Wing. This was my first glimpse of the new jets and they were on flying duties right away. The F-15E Strike Eagles continue to be stationed at Lakenheath but it was sad to finally see the F-15C variants being retired. I also had the opportunity to photograph the F-16s which were sent over on detachment from Aviano Air Force Base in Italy. It's always a welcome treat to see and photograph aircraft not stationed in the UK visiting the likes of RAF Lakenheath. A flying visit to the Lake District gave me the chance to grab these two shots of Tarn House. Sometimes you have to grab the chance when you can, even though these were taken in less than ideal conditions. Another vlog I made at my local nemesis, Harringworth Viaduct, resulted in me trying yet again to capture the massive brick structure in the landscape illuminated by the setting sun. June, air show season was in full swing and my first time at the Cosford Air Show, photographing the displays in what turned out to be quite challenging conditions I found. Great to see so many aircraft in special colour schemes this year, including the French Rafale, our own Blackjack Typhoon and the Belgian Air Force Dream Viper. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to the air tattoo this year, but I managed to make it to the arrivals day on the Thursday before the air show weekend. 
A glorious sunny day with blue skies, perfect for aviation photography. Stocked up with full frame and cropped bodies and all three of my big lenses, I was fully prepared for just about anything. But what I wasn't quite prepared for was just how good the Korean Air Force Black Eagles were. Their T-50 jets looked awesome in their black, white and yellow colours. Their flying skills were incredibly impressive, but some of the manoeuvres were unlike anything many of us watching had ever seen. The spaghetti style break with a rotational break into landing was very cool indeed. And it's always a joy to watch the Frecci Tricolori and Fast Jets doing their stuff. I found myself in London for the day and I grabbed the chance to do some black and white cityscapes around more London and the Queen's Walk on the South Bank. I've been wanting to photograph around here for ages and so this year I finally ticked this location off the list. Unbelievably I'd never been to the Peak District Another location on that list that I wanted to start to get to know and start photographing. And where best to start? Stanage Edge. You can watch my vlog of my afternoon and evening shoot. The sunset was close, but not quite what I was hoping for. I stayed locally overnight and the following morning resulted in something spectacular from the top of Mam Tor. The sunrise over the Hope Valley was peaceful and beautiful and I came away with some of my best shots of the year. Later in the day I returned to the millstones at Stanage Edge and Higator rounded off my short first visit to the Peak District. A return to photographing aircraft, this time a night shoot at York Aviation Museum in November, shooting floodlit aircraft against a fading sky. The resident Victor, Lusty Lindy, Nimrod and Harrier were all fabulous subjects to photograph. Quite a challenging shoot actually, a tripod essential and a lot of exposure experimentation going on. But my best photo of the night was the Victor with the plough constellation looming overhead in the night sky. My last location landscape vlog of the year was in the middle of the day on the beach at Ricolva on the North Kent coast. I know this area quite well but I've never photographed it and I wanted to do some daytime black and white long exposures to capture the scene. Thank you ever so much for watching and supporting me and my channel throughout the year. Please like and subscribe to see more from me next year.